you know it's that time of year when everybody starts thinking about that turkey, how they're going to make it. Well, for me, I don't really think about the turkey. I think about the mashed potatoes and how I'm going to make it. There's literally a thousand different ways of making mashed potatoes and all of them are right. So I'm going to show you how I do mine. Now, we all know how to cut a potato, right? Super simple. I do leave the skins on in mine and I am going to give you a pro tip. When you're cutting away, Right down below here is a wet paper towel that prevents this from moving around. All right, so I'm gonna cut these up, we're gonna get them started, and then I'm gonna show you how to make some of the creamiest mashed potatoes you could ever have. Just that simple, let's get them on the heat. We have our heat source going. I've got the potatoes in here soaking in water. We're just going to put it over the heat source with a lid on, of course, and we're just going to let them cook until we can put that fork in there. You know the fork test. Just put the fork in there, comes out, goes in, comes out. We're good. We'll see you then. I'm guessing you all know what the fork test is, but for those who don't, let me show you. It's just a regular fork, and I just put it in the potato, and if it doesn't take much to put this fork through the potato, then you know your potato's done or damn near. This point, as you can see, not doing it. So we're gonna let these continue to cook. These things have been cooking for about 30 minutes, and I think it's time to give it the fork test again. Just, oh, look at that. Just smooth as butter. There's no resistance whatsoever to this, to the fork going in there. I'm gonna give it a few more minutes though. I mean, some of these on the outside, there's a little bit of resistance and that's kind of the key to the whole thing is that resistance. If you want creamy potatoes, that can be no resistance whatsoever. Resistance is futile when it comes to potatoes being creamy. With our potatoes steaming hot, now it's probably a good time to put in some butter. Hey, put in as much as you want. But with the potatoes just being so hot, it's just prime opportunity. Excellent. Just give it a quick stir, kind of get that butter in there, heating up, doing its thing. Also kind of breaks things apart a little bit. I mean, it's just starting to come together already. The beauty part is, I haven't even added the cream yet. But it is time to add some heavy duty whipping cream. We start with about that much. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of Parmesan cheese. You could add some garlic in at this point. That would be good. A little powdered garlic. It's actually really good. I'm not going to this time. But let's let the Pampered Chef Multi-Flex Tool do its job. Oh, you can smell that Parmesan cheese. Woo, love it. Great smell, great aroma. should clean off the mixer. Let's put in a little bit more heavy whipped cream. Go at it again. And just look how creamy that is. I'm going to throw in uh, just a little bit more heavy whipped cream. You could probably get away without the heavy whipped cream at this point, but 
I like heavy whipped cream. It's just who I am. That is some creamy potatoes. Oh, heck yeah. This Pampered Chef Multiflex tool just cuts through them. Skin and all, baby. Skin and all. Link down below if you're interested in one of these. It's so cool. Look at that. That's cool. Check that out. I'm going to throw a little bit more butter on top. So if you look closely, you can still see the heat coming off. You know, butter's is flavor of life, right? All right, what do you guys think? Creamy mashed potatoes or what? I'm going to dip it in a little butter. Mmm. Yeah. These are awesome. Yeah, definitely. Get some more butter on that one. Mmm. I'm telling you. These are super creamy, and you add that Parmesan cheese to it, fantastic. You could throw garlic in here, put some salt and pepper on here, be perfect, and you'd have one heck of a hit when it comes to going with that turkey. I'm just gonna eat a little bit more. This actually might be my dinner tonight. It's like just a couple of ingredients. Here's a good idea. Onions for garnish, perfect. Very presentable now at the table. All right, guys, I want to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you next week. Enjoy it, guys. And uh, just remember, be thankful for what you got. Love you. Peace. Talk to you next episode. If you're looking for a mashed potato recipe, if you're looking for a creamy, delicious mac and... If you're looking for a creamy mashed potato recipe for the holidays i think you found it this stuff is the bomb but it's also good year round whether you got the holidays or you just want to make it for your friends and family these mashed potatoes are killer